far as continuous learning, um, the, you know, we had attended and watched several webinars with the Iowa Department of Education, and we really needed to decide what it was going to look like uh, when we were not able to come back into school after March 12th, and we didn't know how long we were going to be out at the time. So really, the two options were to go with uh, a voluntary uh, continuous uh, enrichment type of learning plan or required learning. So we decided to go with uh, the voluntary educational learning opportunities for our students. So uh, we immediately uh, worked to get them, get everyone connected to the internet. Um, so as part of the grant with the Community Foundation of Greater Muscatine, um, we were able to work with WTC here locally in Wilton and um, we believe we have uh, everyone connected uh, online. So we were able to get hotspots purchased and get those out. And then we were able to start that continuous uh, voluntary learning. And that's really where we're still at. And what, what we're basically doing here at the secondary level is our teachers are getting online on Tuesday and Thursday, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. And it goes until basically um, the end of the day till 315 and they get online and they teach their class like they normally would if students were inside the class. So they'll, you know, they use the platform Google Classroom and they do presentations and have discussions and they even, uh, you know, give assignments so they're able to give feedback. Even though it's not work that they grade, uh, it is important that we give feedback to our students. Uh, right now we think we have around 60% of our students participating uh, at some capacity. So. Um, basically, they get online two days a week and they do the continuous learning. The other three days a week, our teachers are planning lessons and, and doing lots of different things, uh, given that feedback that we talked about. And then what we decided to do as far as grading to end, to end the year, uh, basically we had one week left in the third quarter. So uh, we had one week of the third quarter and all the fourth quarter. So what we did is we cut the, the grading off during that eight weeks of the third quarter, we just used that eight weeks as our grading uh, period. And then what we did was we worked with our teachers and any student that had any missing work or um, maybe an assessment they needed to take, uh, whatever happened in that eight weeks that they needed to do, we had the teachers turn in packets of work and we labeled those packets with the student's name. And anyone that was under the passing of 50%, we hand delivered those packets to their homes. And we basically wanted to give everyone an opportunity to pass during the pandemic and be fair to everyone. So those packets were delivered about a week ago and they're scheduled to come back here in the next couple of weeks. And we will wrap up grading at that point and um, give the third quarter grade and then ultimately the semester grade. Um, and that's just really for our high school students. Um, our junior high students, we didn't um, send work home or anything like that. Uh, we just went past fail grading with them as well. So uh, that's how we handled the, the voluntary learning and the grading aspect. Now, the next step is uh, by July 1st, we have to write a return to learn plan. And in that plan, we have to, uh, actually, we haven't even talked about it a lot yet, uh, but we have to figure that out as far as what learning will look like in the fall uh, we still don't know what social distancing guidelines are going to be out there, but we have to come up with a plan and it may be um, strictly online. It may have a component of face-to-face um, -face, and it may have a component of kind of a hybrid between the two. Um, you know, we need to be prepared if, if we do start school in the fall um, inside the building and then we have an outbreak of COVID-19 and we need to you know, take a couple weeks off and we need to shift to online learning. We need to have a plan for that. So that's really what that return to learn plan is about and that's due July 1st. So we're starting to work on that right now and getting that plan together as far as learning. 